Director Darren, your assistant said that you accepted the Disker's invitation to be a judge. Is that true? Five years ago, there were rumors that you severed ties with the Academy. Does this prove that those rumors were false? Or were they true, but you reconciled now? After hearing rumors of your comeback, many of the hottest stars have expressed their desire to be in your new work. Even hinted that they have an intimate relationship with you. What are your thoughts? What's your schedule like, Director Darren? What genre are you choosing this time? Rom-com, action, fantasy. And those are important. Over here, Director. I care about your cinematic art the most. Why did you stop making films five years ago? Have you lost your inspiration? Did you retreat from the public eye to hide that fact? Please tell us. Are you all out of talent, Director Darren? <sighs> I didn't expect that to happen. Whether she's Dee or Darren, she's my director! What do you people want to do to her? Out of the way! Out of the way! No one's allowed to bully a crew member of mine! Our movie isn't finished yet! Don't get in the way of us winning the Diskers! Your crew? Are, Are you, you the, the new, new Darren, Darren girl? girl? Making a comeback. Who's the male lead? Who are the investors? Which production studio are you working with? What about the distributor? We can. Uh, no! The next Darren girl ought to be me! Director Darren, I'll do anything you want. I'll be a big box office hit, I promise! Oh, you're my dream! Please choose me! This kid is way too young. Is she related to one of the investors? They hid her for five years, so she must have quite the background. Could she be from Paradesos? No, no, her clothes look so cheap. She's an outlander. <laughs> and that accent. And that weird thing on her head. I've never seen that in this city. It really is. It's not a weird thing! No, Touchy! This is a lion's head! It's a treasure from my hometown! It should have debuted on stage at the Diskers! It's all your fault, you rude trolls! This is a lion dance costume from Goldianville. It took a long, long way to get here! You're not allowed to insult it! Goldianville. I remember now. I saw that name on a Quinn trade list a few years back. It's a city stage on the continent across the sea. Even today, there are no direct routes to it. We don't even have pictures of it. Last year, a catastrophe broke out on that continent, and it sank to the bottom of the sea. Did that continent see? Oh, I guess it's normal that we didn't hear about it. 
It's such a small, faraway city-state after all. It's hard to get to and hard to trade with. This would have happened sooner or later. Oh, that's why she picked her. How brilliant of Director Darren. Everything makes sense now. What a genius choice! A great tearjerker would be a box office legend and make for the perfect comeback piece. Director Darren, let's talk about distribution. Uh, Director Darren, what's wrong? Step aside, step aside. Director, I finally found you. After all these years. Quick, come back with me. Save your questions for the press conference. The director won't be taking any questions right now. You. Oh, I hear you're the director's friend. I'm director Darren's assistant. I help her handle all kinds of work at the studio. Come find me if you need anything. What's your name, sweetie? Oh, my name is O. I grew up in the city. My homeland is Goldianville. I know how to perform lion dancing. I want to make a movie and win a disker. And then I want People in my hometown to see me perform lion dancing on TV. Huh? Did something happen to my hometown? <sighs> about your homeland? I have heard some news about it. I'm sorry. But all your misfortunes are in the past. Now you're in this city and you've met Director Darren. These are all blessings of fate. We'll take care of you. Why don't you join Darren Film Studios? We'll help you win the disker you want. You'll become Dillywood's future star. What an adorable child. What you had to go through is heartbreaking. Your story will move everyone in this city. Your homeland would be proud of you. Come. Little Clapper? What the hell are they doing to Awu? Leave her alone! I'm sorry, madam. Awu already has a film crew. She is the founder of my best cool car studios. Please don't look down on her because she's a child. <laughs> no, Stella. You can't come out. I know you're angry, but not now. Get used to it. This is Jillywood. Practically anyone can change your script. <sighs> That's fate for you. Never goes the way you want. Everyone who comes must understand that they need to choose how to keep the show going. Now's your turn, my little hero. This is the walk of fame that makes all wishes come true. Fame, fortune, dreams, and opportunity. You're lucky enough to have a ticket in. Wanna pre-order a disker? Which category do you wanna win in? Who do you want to watch your movie? 
I'm the legendary director Darren. Come to Dillywood with me. I can make all this come true. <laughs> no, it's not! I'm not going! I don't want those things! Can you please stay? You said you'd help me make my own film. You said everyone will see my story. It's not finished yet. My wish hasn't come true yet. My dear Awu, some films have happy endings, and some have sad endings. But there's one kind of ending that's the cruelest. It's when the filmmaker can't detach themselves from their film and dissolves to dust alongside it the moment they leave the theater. The length of a film is all that a person can direct. If you want to keep directing the world after the film ends, are you strong enough to do that? Do you really think it's possible? Alright, this is my big comeback. Why are all the cameras pointing at someone else? This is the Walk of Fame, where dreams are made and shattered. Come. My big comeback press conference is this way. Let's forge the next dream together. Those who cannot be part of this dream should go sleep somewhere else. Some movies don't belong to this place.